Hello again, everyone. Uh, I'm back with another FFT Arena match, this time between AeroGP's Snow Pirates and Rex's Severe Weather Alert. So starting off with Arrow's team, we have Cerulean the Mediator, Cobalt the Squire, Azure the Squire, and Denim the Chemist. Um, so basically, um, Arrow's team uh, wants to Masamune to get these squires going, and then use Grand Cross um, from the squires to hurt the enemy and keep themselves very healthy so they can keep trucking. They can keep trucking along. Um, these two are clones, as you can see here. Um, this is AeroGP's main offense, which may or may not be a problem. Um, presumably it shouldn't though, because the Grand Cross can heal, will heal themselves and can heal each other if need be. That and um, the chemist is there to throw items, to get rid of status and heal. And then Mediator can disrupt with uh, between Bizen Boat and Mimic Darvon and Blackmail in Pinch. Uh, moving on to Rex's team, we have Blizzard the Archer, Hailstorm the Archer, Rain the Priest, and Hurricane the Scholar. Um, so, as you guys might have seen from previous videos or just from noticing the equips, it is essentially a lightning based offense. Um, everyone can do lightning damage, and the mages have. Um, some water element spells as backup in case the enemy absorbs lightning. And everyone on the team can indeed absorb both lightning and water. So very effective in that um, everything, everyone can heal each other and yeah, everyone can heal each other while hurting the enemy at the same time. Uh, nobly from this priest, who I think is going to be the biggest threat for Arrow GP, seeing as, how, seeing as how she is both the support unit with raise 2 and will probably do the most damage between the strength and the magic attack up, and she is using like Bolt 2, which is like the strongest black magic spell outside of Flare. Um, Scholar has Lore to hurt and heal everyone on the map, will heal everyone on uh, Rex's team, etc. And notably, Arrow GP does not have anyone that absorbs lightning, so all four of these units can just fire away and do damage unimpeded. Um, the obvious targets for Rex will be the two Squires, as they are um, Arrow's only form of offense for the most part. I mean, the guns are it's probably just going to pick people off from Phoenix down. Except, of course, um, the means of revival on Rex's team are Raise 2 and Fairy. Um, the Ramonda gun might be able to pick off people revived from Fairy, but certainly not from Raise 2. So I think that will, will be a big problem for Arrow GP. Um, I believe that is it. Uh, oh, I... I like the thief hat on this archer. Um, again, the extra point of speed lets him do his job better, throwing around items and whatnot. Um, but then I, I, I wonder why not have the thief hat on this archer as well, because thief hat is an excellent piece of headgear. Um, extra point of speed helps with the offense, and halving three elements is pretty nice. I suppose an argument could be made because it might halve um, water, but then again, you have lightning to heal your own guys, so eh. Um, that will be up to you. Yeah, that, that's your choice. Anyways, let's get on with the match. Uh, we'll be going to map 57. Underground book storage, first floor. I mean, everyone on um, Rex's team will be decently threatening. Um, especially since the only means of revival on Arrow's team is Wish and Phoenix Down, and between Lore and like the spell guns, that is very easily put down again by Rex. So wh any one of Arrow's units dying could ultimately be a rather huge problem for him. Um, ideally, of course, that won't happen because the Squires will be drawing all the fire, and then they can heal it all back with Grand Cross. But we'll, we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Meteor going for black for don't act blackmail, and it hits. It's again reducing the amount of offense from uh, Rex's side. Um, everyone on Arrow's team has low to medium faith. It was either forty or fifty-five, if I remember correctly. And everyone on Rex's team has 40 Fury, so damage is going to be a bit low, a bit on the lower side. But still solid damage. Um, 
A constraint on the squares means whatever evasion they have, it's not going to matter. Okay. They didn't have that much anyways, but yeah, it will be irrelevant. And again, the gun's not doing much. Um, Mithril gun on the meteor makes a bit of sense since it helps boost her toxic percentages. And there's the healing and hurting in one action. Again, excellent damage from that, um, from the priest. And the squire is almost down, but a grand cross will bring him right back up. And actually, the concert is very nice because it means that uh, the squires are guaranteed to heal each other from their from their grand crosses. So, I I might prefer attack up, but again, I like big numbers. But that is definitely a perk of having concentrate. And the healing is solid, right? It was like two hundred some. And oh, their lineup for grand crosses is gonna hurt. Grand cross is excellent. We can hit multiple units, and just like that, one of Rex's archers goes down. He does a re-raise, but oh, Nether Bolt to hurt and heal, like so. Yeah, Elemental Absorb is quite powerful, just because healing and hurting in one action is very nice. Auto Potion, keeping that Squire um, decently healthy, and here's a Grand Cross. Yeah, this patch is pretty interesting because of the elemental, all the Elemental Absorb that's going on. Um, anyways, as I mentioned earlier, I think I would have liked to ha see... Um, like spell guns onto th on the chemists and meteor, just because that helps with the offense. Um, two percent isn't going to be a huge loss in terms of to toxical accuracy for the mediator, and this definitely means, and with the spell guns, it's more offense, and they can, yeah, just more offense, just makes things a bit better, I think. Oh, there's grand cross, drops into the archer from what it sounded like, but here's an incoming raise too. But they're lined up for Grand Cross. This might hurt. Will the priest go down? I think she will stay alive. Yeah, stays alive. Auto potion, excellent reaction to have. I mean, it just halved the amount of damage that the squire just did from Grand Cross. Chemist okay, very far behind. Very, I'm just not doing much. Very soon will likely hit. They do have all have 70 faith. Um, lore not too threatening between the auto potions from the squires, um, low faith, and then like regen, move HP up. Um, oh, the squire barely survives. Barely survives. An auto potion doing an excellent job keeping people alive. And if the squire gets in their turn soon, well, Archer first. Oh, well, don't act it. I missed that. I missed that. And there goes Rex's priest. That could be a problem. And they're lined up for a grand cross. So. This definitely favors Arrow, especially with that. The Scholar's been dropped as well. It looks like another don't act. And it hits. So now it is 4 on 2. Um, the two remaining members of Rex's team are useless, and they can and they cannot revive. Or actually, one of them has item, never mind. So one of them can revive, but regardless, he's in a bad spot. And it looks like Arrow GB is going to be taking this down. There goes one. And there goes, yep, there they go. Oh, re-raise, but not gonna matter. Double turn. Yeah, he's trapped. <laughs> and there he goes. Okay, yeah, Arrow GB takes round one. Let's see what happens on round two. Welcome back. Round two on map 12. I should definitely review round one. I felt like I was just making a lot of comments, and then I, I wasn't really, like, I didn't get a good feel of the flow of the match until it was kind of obvious that Arrow GP was in the lead. Anyways, let's see what happens. This could be bad for. This is going to be bad for Rex because um, the teams are still pretty close. Both squares are going to be moss mooted, and because it's a fairly like, narrow quarterish, I mean, the units might be once again in pretty good position for Grand Cross. We'll see what happens. And oh, the two archers are unable to take down the squire, even though they're focused. And now the Grand Cross, they're nice and healthy. Darkness, thankfully thankfully for Rex, is not going to be terribly relevant, but the fact that they can't bring that squire down, that is very relevant, because that means um, Arrow GP's offense can keep going. Um, but this might do it. I mean, that was solid damage. Oh, maybe not after the um, high potion. And if this blackmail hits, it doesn't, thankfully for Rex. So Rex is still in this. Oh, pull two. <laughs> One of the archers guards it. But, and yes, there goes the squire, finally. Auto potion, keeping him alive just a bit longer. Was that an HP restore that missed? That was. That is the Black Hood Archer. That is very unfortunate. Um, HP restore meant, obviously, meant 
Obviously would have meant that that archer did not need to use... Oh, but there's the HP Restore. So it sort of works out. Um, but... Ooh! The Meteor goes for a Black Moon instead of a Mimic Darvon. I'm pretty sure it's a Mimic Darvon. And they're all lined up for it. A bit unfortunate for Arrow. Um, now it looks like another Rama. And will that Bolt 2 get off in time? I am unsure. But if it does, the Squire is probably dead. Like so. Bandage. I guess that is the nice thing about having um, one archer faster than the other is that if is that he can support he can um, fix yeah he can support the first archer and let him go on his way like so um, got the bandage off so now the art the other archer on the team will go and then be able to take an action instead of running away of course if you just swap the turn order between them then same thing could have happened but pretty neat and oh counter magic. And oh, that is really cool, because the, the counter magic actually took the AoE, I did not know that. That was very cool. Uh, no darkness proc. Oh, but right, the Squire is, has angel ring, so it's not good. So silly me. And poison also not going to matter too much, I don't think. And especially not after Masamune. <laughs> that was really cool, um, the spell gun into counter magic. That was really cool. Anyways, I span heal. Yeah, concentrate means that he's always guaranteed. Oh goodness, it's gonna hit three people. This could be pretty devastating. Um, well, at the very least, it's just solid damage. Probably going for a kill now. Yes. <laughs> the counter. That's really cool. That is really cool. I've clearly not seen this team in action before. Sorry. <laughs> that's, I, I should try that. That I'm. That is very exciting. Anyway, yeah. Between the elemental absorb, I mean, everyone is just nice and healthy. It's it's hard to say if anyone will get an upper hand, um, or rather, it's hard to say who's in the lead and whatnot. But looks like lore, as well as a bolt too. But first, chemist snipes the scholar, and now they're in line for grand cross. And if the other squire goes, he gets grand cross, and they will both die. Well, the archer's dead. So, just as I say, I'm not sure who's in the lead. Arrow GP has once again taken the lead. Um, I guess the definite weakness of having everyone be able to heal everyone else on the team is that they might end up spending too much time focused on healing each other instead of damaging the enemy. Because um, as you know, at least three or four of Rex's teams' actions have been spent healing each other. Granted, the counter magic is pretty cool because you can heal you know two people at once in the same action, but that is a little dependent on the uh, reaction triggering and whatnot. And now a blackmail hits. That's a problem, as is this. Okay. Oh, the ice two proc did just enough damage to finish her off. Very, very unlucky for Rex, because raise two would have definitely helped by bringing the scholar back. But now she can just get anti sandbagged because the guns are very good at dealing with Phoenix down. And they're right in range for another Grand Cross. Oh, Arrow GP. It looks like he's definitely going to take this. Especially with one of the archers being donacted. And they're just walking into that little pit there. It's really, really bad for Rex. Other oh, Squire should get the turn soon. Oh, but first the Chemist can probably shoot her. Can't, but can Masamune the Squire, which is always good. Masamune is still very fine ability. Willing to hurt his own mediator just to kill the priest. This is my grand cross. Archer barely stays alive thanks to the move HP up, I'm pretty sure. Had just enough HP to survive. Blackmail misses. Now everyone can act again, but it's not oh well healing might be relevant. It's probably gonna be a Phoenix down. But I believe the one of the squires. Yep, there's a grand cross. It's not gonna miss thanks to concentrate. And that's a double kill. This is the problem. That scholar's gonna crystallize soon. Put a little poke shot. And an another ice two proc to seal the deal. Well, there you have it. Arrow GP wins. Um, good game. Alright, back with some post-game thoughts. Uh, this is going to be the only image because I'm lazy. But um, the big things that happened was that um, 
uh, Arrow Team was really nicely built because both the Mediator and the Chemist were hanging back. So indeed, the Squires were taking all the fire, and they healed that back no problem with Grand Cross. Um, also, um, things were a bit unlucky with Rex, as this image showed, um, the Bolt 2 counter magic. Uh, both of his archers guarded it. Um, but not only that, um, there were several auto potions um, in both rounds that didn't activate for Rex. Um, and speaking of auto potion, um, that played a huge role for um, Arrow because not only did most of the, most of them hit, and that kept the squires alive. Um, it really, like the squires never really came, never really went down, and it forced Rex's team to spend a lot more actions than they would have liked trying to bring them down. Except, oh wait, they had the Grand Cross. Um, to heal themselves, and with Concentrate, it meant that they were guaranteed to heal themselves. Um, I mentioned this in the video, um, another problem with for Rex was that most, like especially in round two, a lot of his turns were spent healing each other, as opposed to hurting and healing, which is ideal. Um, so yeah, too much time focused on healing his own team, and not enough, um, not enough turns were spent damaging the opponent. And the last thing I think was really critical was that um, Arrow Squires, when they went for Grand Cross, almost every single time it hit at least two units. And over time that really uh, built up, even with um, the bits of healing, even with the elemental healing that Rex could do. Because um, again, the Squires were outputting solid damage, and hitting multiple units at once made it really hard for Rex to recover, especially since most of the healing was single target. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys.